On the third day of demonstrations over Michael Brown's killing at the hands of police, one man did what no other protester could. Ferguson, Mo. David Hoach was the last, and most unexpected, protester of the night. The 74-year-old Vietnam veteran drove 60 miles to Ferguson, where for the last three days unrest has gripped the town following Michael Brown's killing by a cop. Hoach approached the line of police and SWAT vehicles in his sedan late Tuesday, turned around, and parked. When he opened the door, he leaned on his oxygen tank as police shone a spotlight on him. He walked across West Florescent Avenue, recently vacated by a large, boisterous, yet peaceful crowd that told police we are Mike Brown. David Hoach also had something to say. The only thing that matters in all of this is that mother who lost her son, he said not far from the police line. I want to give her a hug and tell her I love her. I have four kids and eight grandkids and I haven't had to bury any one of them. What she's going through must be terrible. If Hoach had shown our powers before, the police response might have been different. Following earlier pleas for calm from the likes of Al Sharpton, the situation became charged just after 7 p.m. Tuesday. For the next three hours, a small group taunted law enforcement. Several times, young men approached police only to have red dots from sniper rifles painted onto their chests. At one point, however, police showed tremendous restraint when the car drove nearly to the line, only to turn around after panicked screams from the officers outfitted in riot gear. Police Chief Thomas Jackson has said little about the situation and the specifics of Brown's death other than the fact the 18-year-old was shot multiple times and that the unnamed officer was injured in the face. Outside the St. Louis County Attorney's Office on Tuesday morning, where a crowd had gathered in anticipation of a press conference held by law enforcement that never materialized, three young men stared down a wall of police holding signs that read Am I Next? One of them, Troy Jones, a 19-year-old aspiring photojournalist, remembered Brown from the scrimmage line. He was a good matchup, Jones said of Brown, a defensive lineman for his high school football team. Standing next to Jones was 18-year-old Gianni Cook, who said the town's beef with the police wasn't about race but restraint, or the lack thereof. Most importantly it's about training in these police officers, he said. Early evening protests Tuesday prompted police to shut down fluorescent a main drag in Ferguson that has been the center of clashes with police Monday night and looting on Sunday.